We're now going to look at drawing cumulative frequency graphs. Um, so first of all, this should give you a table in the exam. We're going to look at this table. It's for weight loss, and it goes 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, uh, 15 to 20, 25 to, um, sorry, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, and 30 to 35. And it's giving you the frequency, as it should in the exam, 9, 13, 21, 17, 10, 8, and 2. And then there's a blank column called cumulative frequency. Now cumulative frequency is a, it's similar to a running total. Okay, And what it means, it means how many it has there been up until the end of the category. So for instance, in the first category, there's been 9 up until the end of the category. So the cumulative frequency is 9. Up until the end of this category, so from 0 to 10, there'd be 9 plus 13. 9 plus 13 is 22. Up until the end of this category, so from 0 to 15, you would do 9 plus 13, which is 22, plus 21, which is 43. And you just keep on adding. So then that would be 60, that would be 70, that would be 78, and then that would be 80. Check in the question that the number of people is the end um, cumulative frequency. So if there's 80 people doing this weight loss program, then 80 should be the last cumulative frequency. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a cumulative frequency graph. So get your set of axes. Uh, if these haven't been drawn for you, okay. Uh, first thing is the scale along the x-axis will be what the categories are. So it's going from 0 all the way to 35. So you're going to go 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 along the x-axis. Never try and put the actual inequality on the axis. It's just going from the lowest one, which is 0, to the largest one, which is 35, and going up in a steady interval. Because these categories are getting bigger by 5 each time, I would recommend going 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, etc. 35 is going to be the last one. Then up the x axis, or up the vertical axis, the y axis, sorry, is going to be your cumulative frequency. So the largest cumulative frequency is 80, so you're going to go from 0 all the way up to 80. So steps of 10, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And that's how you draw your set of axes for your cumulative frequency graph. Now we're going to plot our points on our cumulative frequency graph. So let's have a look at plotting the first point. Now remember I said it was 9 up until the end of this category. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go 5 across and plot the point 9. So we're going to go 5 across and plot the point 9. We're going to go 10 across because it's 22 up until the end of this category. So we're going to go 10 across and go 22 up. So 10 across, 22 up. Make sure you realize what each of these lines represent. Notice I put the 22 here because there's one, two, three, four, five lines that represent a difference of 10. So each of the little lines is 2. So 22 is here. If it was 21, it would be here, 20 here, and so on. Okay, next one, uh, we've got our cumulative frequency of 43, and that was for the category from 10 to 15, so the end of the category, 15 and 43, so you plot each point at the end of each category, so 15 across, 43 up, so 15 across, and 43 up. Next one, it's 15 to 20, and the cumulative frequency is 60, so 20 across, 60 up, um, 20 to 25, uh, the cumulative frequency is 70, so 25 across and 70 up. Uh, the next one is 25 to 30 and it's 78, so we're going to go 30 across and 78 up. And finally, 30 to 35 goes up to 80, so 35 goes up to 80. You'll see now that your points follow the cumulative frequency curve shape. Okay, so what you do is you draw a nice smooth curve through these. I'm going to try the best I can on this. Um, so, drawing a nice smooth curve through each of the points. Okay, if you wanted to in this one, because it starts off at zero, you could connect the zero up to there if you wished. Uh, in the exam, uh, they, they wouldn't penalize you for that, uh, so you could, or you know, credit you for it, so you could join up like that if you wish. And there we've drawn our cumulative frequency curve. Okay, um, it's a nice smooth curve going through each of the points, like so.